Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to do this. We're going to show you how to add an animated chart to your iMovie video, which is a very handy. And of course, that chart is actually customizable. And to do that chart, we're going to have to use another piece of software that came with your Mac called Keynote. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, you're going to go into your Applications folder. You're going to look for Keynote. You're going to open it up. You're going to do File, New. And you're going to pick any one of these basic presentations. Double click on it to open it. Click on here to delete this text. We don't need that. We're going to change the background color to a very, very, very bright green. And the reason we do this is so we can chroma key out the green screen. So everything that's green on here is going to disappear and it'll be transparent. OK. So now we, we have that, we actually have to go into the document and let's change it to a widescreen format, which makes it a lot more easier to work with once it's inside of iMovie. If you're using Final Cut Pro, that part is not so much of a big difference, but in iMovie, because of the limitations of resizing thing, you definitely want to keep it 16.9 so it matches up with the, the video itself. Okay. So what else we got to do? Let's go ahead and add a chart. We're going to click on the chart icon here, and we're going to pick the first one. OK. So now we have a chart. Pretty straightforward. Uh, let's see, what else can we do with this thing? We can add a title. We can add a border. We can add a legend. I don't like legend, actually. And let's see, we can make the formatting bold. And you can also change the color. Just remember that. Um, Try to stay away from the chroma key green as much as possible. So let's do blue. That looks kind of good. And of course, you can, you know, customize the title and stuff. And change, you know, the information you need to change, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so basically, that's it if you just need a chart. Now, if you want to kick it up a notch and add a little bit of animation, of course you can do that. You can go up to the animate thing here, add an effect, and let's see what we can make it look like. So that's blinds here. Ah, it looks okay. Let's go ahead and change that, see what else we got here. Scale. Ah, yeah, I kind of like that scale. So. Let's go ahead and do that. And of course you can edit the chart data if you want to here, but I'm not gonna bother with it. Um, you could do that to your liking. For now, we're just gonna leave it as it is. We'll just imagine that my uh, iMovie tutorials have been increasing in popularity. And I hope, uh, I think they are. So don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up and all that jazz. Tell your friends who have Macs or are new to Macs who might get a Mac about all of them and they'll become experts at editing with iMovie 2, I hope. Okay, so we're done. Let's go ahead and export this. And if you remember from the last tutorial, we're gonna export it as a QuickTime movie. We're gonna make sure it's uh, self-playing. Gonna bump it up to 1080p. And then um, I'm gonna put zero and zero here. You can leave it defaulted if you want, but I'm gonna put zero, zero. Hit next, name it, iMovie chart. Save it on the desktop. Okie dokie. And for now, I'm just going to go ahead and close it. Menu. There we go. I don't, I'm not going to bother saving it. And I have iMovie chart right here. This is my old one. The one I was practicing with. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up iMovie here. We'll delete the one we have there now. And I'll also delete the background. So I'll kind of tell you what I did from scratch. I basically made a new movie. No theme. You can name it as you like it. And what I did was I went to the backgrounds here, maps and backgrounds. And I just picked whatever background I thought was cool. So I'll probably go with the industrial one here. Drag it into the timeline. And I'm gonna extend it out just a bit. Where is it at? Go, there we go. Okay, so we got about seven seconds here. It's doing nothing, it's just a static background, but it looks kinda cool. 
So now let's go ahead and import that chroma key or that green screen chart that we just made. And once we import it into here, which one was it? The blue one. Yeah, it's the blue one here. We're going to double click and you can either hit the plus or you can just drag it down to where you like it. And from here, let's make sure we're in the fit. So we'll use the cropping tool, make sure it's fit. And then the first icon here is the video overlays. Go to the drop down menu here and go to green slash blue screen. Bam. Now you have a chart and most importantly, it's an animated chart. Okay. So this, I think this can really, really help you kick up your, your videos another notch. So also let me show you one more thing. I'm just going to, this is going to look dumb, but I'm going to do it anyways. Just to kind of show you what you might be able to do. Take a piece of video, drop it over here and let's slide this over here. So this chart can actually go over video too. I mean, it's going to be more difficult to see, but just kind of an idea of what you might want to do or might you could do. Oh, let me mute that sound here. Okay. You know, so you could have a chart over your video or whatever. Just, just throwing something out there, throwing some ideas out there. I think I would um, definitely go for a, probably a static background so you can actually, you know, look at the picture, not too many things moving at once, but just potentially, you know, using your imagination. There might be something you can do with this chart thing on top of a moving video or something like that, but you never know. Okie dokie. So that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. And from here, you just finish editing and, exp and uh, share it to your desktop or share it to YouTube or wherever you want to share it to. Okay, that's it. All you really need is a Mac, iMovie, and Keynote. And of course, all new Macs come with both of these applications. So it makes it really easy and really convenient to do stuff like this. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something here. And remember, I, I show you the basics here, but I want you to, you know, kind of kick it up a notch and uh, see how you can use it in your life or in your work and just, you know, take it to that next level. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, go ahead and put them in the comments. Don't forget to slam dunk that thumbs up, subscribe, and of course, a whole bunch of peace. And I know we need plenty of aloha out there, so spread that aloha spirit. Thanks for watching.